ever since Cristiano Ronaldo has left, there's been a common theme going on about Real Madrid. They're old, they're finished, and I mean, without Ronaldo, they're not gonna do much. And personally, I've been watching nearly every single Real Madrid game. I mean, I even lived in Madrid, and I've been observing them really closely, and I've got to say that some of the criticism is deserved, but some of the criticism is, is really not deserved. Is the team a little worse than before? Of course. It's normal. The heights that Real Madrid have achieved, I mean, when we talk about football and football history, how many teams have ever done that? So obviously, when that team is going to fall, the fall is going to be much worse. And it's going to be much easier to observe because no team has ever done that before. It's very different to a team winning the league and then falling off the next year. That's a quick and easy fall off, right? But honestly, it's not that bad. From 2009 when Ronaldo joined and this whole dynasty started to when it ended in 2018, Real Madrid only won two league titles. This so-called finished and old team and whatnot, with Messi still as competition, with a very good Atletico Madrid as competition, they won the league. And this season is not finished and they could already make it two leagues. And of course that success is nothing compared to what they achieved but the small success that they still have is in a large part thanks to these three guys. Benzema is 100% one of the best strikers in the world. Already got 21 goals this season and last season he had 27 but he also had 11 assists and I just personally feel like a lot of people talk about Harry Kane, about Lewandowski, Haaland, all these guys but Benzema is up there and he deserves the respect. And when you watch him play, don't get it twisted, he's one of the best players in the world full stop. He literally does everything up top and when it comes to the big games, he leads and the rest follow. For the last decade at least, Benzema has been world class. One of the best strikers we've ever seen, without a doubt. You then have Sergio Ramos. Other than being the most dangerous centre back when it comes to attacking ever, Ramos in the past two years has had a very difficult job and that's because the centre backs around him, especially Varane, who was one of the best centre backs in the world, has made some crazy, crazy errors in the last two seasons and Ramos has still made him look somewhat decent. But on top of that, he's also had to be the captain and the player that really holds this team together, a team that's apparently fallen apart. He had to be there for them and he had to do all of that whilst maintaining his reputation as one of the best defenders in the world because he is. Especially when we talk about IQ wise, but also about athleticism too, that's underrated. And the athleticism comes from his work ethic, something that a lot of players, even the young players don't have today. That work ethic is insane. At 34 years of age, he just suffered a torn meniscus and for a lot of old players that could genuinely be the end of their career but this guy came back the team wasn't winning they didn't win for two consecutive games in the league barely beat Atalanta in the first leg this man comes back they win at Elche easy win against Atalanta and he scored and he's doing this all at 34. We're here talking about Hazard coming back from an injury and then getting injured again but Ramos came back scored and won games I was being the captain too but I left this one for last. Luka Modric, he deserves a lot of respect because he receives the most hate and honestly, especially this season, he doesn't deserve no hate. Now, of course, since he's won the Ballon d'Or, he did struggle for form and he did find it hard to maintain his position in the starting 11. But this season, Modric at 35, he's dominating. And I mean dominating, bro. At 35, he's box to box, he can be the deep lighting playmaker, he can be the cam, and he does that whilst working a lot guys. As you very well know, Modric's career has been based around work ethic because he's always the guy that covers the most distance and that hasn't changed this season. He's still covering just as much distance and I've really noticed that and you probably noticed that tonight too. And when Real Madrid is under pressure, who do they turn to to kind of dictate the tempo and slow it down? turn to Modric he's the guy that beats the press he's the guy that starts attacks he's the guy that defends I mean like I said this guy is a complete midfielder and he's doing this at 35 these guys these three guys they deserve more respect honestly as always this is your boy G Alex catch you in the next one and I'm out